Hi, I'm Lynn Evans, Curator of Archaeology for Mackinac State Historic Parks, where I direct the ongoing excavation here at Michelin Mackinac. Michelin Mackinac is located on the shores of the Straits of Mackinac. As long as there have been people living in Michigan, they've come here to the Straits every summer to gather together with friends and family and to fish. This first fort was built here in 1715 by the French. It was adjacent to a Jesuit mission to the Odawa. The French expanded the fort a couple of times. It became British with, as a result of the fall of New France in 1760, although there were no battles here. The British were here for 20 years until they moved over to Mackinac Island, which you can see just behind me, to build Fort Mackinac. This was during the American Revolution, and so once they had completed their move, they destroyed everything that they hadn't moved. They didn't want there to be anything from the old fort that could be used to attack the new fort. So by the end of 1781, there was nothing on this site except a sandy beach, some burnt posts, and some collapsed chimneys. Mackinac City was refounded about 100 years later, and we've been doing archaeology here every summer since 1959. Everything you see around you is based on the archaeology that we've been doing here since 1959. Michelin Mackinac wasn't just a fort, it was a fortified fur trading village. There were men, women, and children here of British, French, Canadian, Native American, African, and German Jewish descent. And archaeology has told us a lot about the details of their daily lives that didn't get written down. These results of this are presented not just in the reconstruction, but through program, programming by costumed interpreters, through exhibits, and through period settings. One of the exhibits that we do is a Treasures from the Sand. It's our main archaeology exhibit. It's actually underground and based around two original ruins, the well and one of the many root cellars that we've had. And the video that you're about to see is part of that exhibit. Michelin Mackinac rises again. Every summer since 1959, archaeologists have worked tirelessly to uncover more of Michelin Mackinac's history. In addition to the nearly one million artifacts, archaeologists have also excavated the remains of many of the fort's original buildings. In some cases, all that is left are stains in the soil, indicating where walls once stood. In other cases, much more remains, especially of underground structures, which were not easily moved when the British abandoned the fort in 1781. For instance, the cellar of the British Trader's House, which you are now inside, was excavated and is preserved directly below you. Archaeologists working in this area also discovered a French well, abandoned in the 1750s, and the cellar for the priest's house. Other original pieces of the fort are visible in the Solomon Levy House, the South-Southwest Row House, and the Powder Magazine, the largest intact ruin at Michelin Mackinac. The fort you see around you today has been reconstructed based on the archaeologists' findings as well as research by historians. As excavations in one area conclude, reconstruction moves forward. Each building is situated where the original once stood and many of the design details, furnishings, and interpretive displays are based on this research. With just over two-thirds of the fort excavated, archaeology and reconstruction are ongoing processes. We hope that you'll return in the future to see the further development and reconstruction of Michelin Mackinac. The excavation site is right in the middle of the fort. We certainly invite you to come visit us next summer and see the archaeology and see all the wonderful programming that we have. But even if you can't make it to northern Michigan, we encourage you to explore more at MackinawParks.com and check, click on the Explore at Home tab. The Explore at Home tab, along with many of our exhibits and programming, is generously sponsored by our friends group, the Mackinaw Associates, and we thank them for all of their support.